In this video, I'm going to show you how you can flash multiple USBs with a program called Popsicle. And if you found this video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video so that you can see how the program works and how to install it. And I do have a variety of ways you can install it. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the program is and then we'll actually look at the real program. Popsicle allows you to create multiple bootable USB drives at once. And this is what it looks like when you load it up for the first time. Again, it's a multiple USB file flasher utility. It's written in Rust and it can flash multiple USBs in parallel. Now you don't have to use multiple USBs. You can just do one drive if you only have one USB and would like to create one USB. It's just got the capabilities. Now you can write with using ISO images and .img files. It works with both USB 2 and USB uh, thumb drives. It supports USB hubs for parallel writing. So if you've got a little hub with multiple USB ports, you can use that for writing them. It, you can verify your images using SHA1, SHA256, and MD5 checksum. It uses a dynamic uh, drive selection. And you also have the command line. I'm going to focus on the, the GUI, which is the graphical user interface. Now, there's multiple methods you can install. You can in install it via the Software Center. And I have the link here if you don't have the Software Center or software installed on your system. Just search for Popsicle, click the install, and you can drop down. But it, I have it set up to install by flat packs within the Software Center as the default. So it, it installs the flat pack. Method number two is you can go to the popos.org and this is the file, the deb file for the command line. The GTK is for the graphical user interface. So I downloaded the GTK uh, for the graphical user interface and the command line. So I have both of them on my system. So you need to download both of those. And I have the links here where you can click to download them. And that's for the command line and that's for the graphical user interface. You can click here to go to the flat pack and install it by flat pack. And if you don't have it set up, you can click here. It has more directions and you can highlight and select that and put it into your terminal if you'd like to install it that method. The other way is to go into GitHub and use the instructions or you can click the releases section and if you like the app image you can install it via the app image or you can go to the actual app image website and install it by downloading and installing by the app image instructions here if you don't have the app images set up on your system. Now once it's installed it won't be called Popsicle in your menu. It's going to be called the USB Flasher. So that's one of these programs that actually changes the name uh, from when you install it for what it shows up. So if you're looking for Popsicle it's not going to be labeled Popsicle. It's going to be USB Flasher. And When you load it for the first time you'll see it looking like this where you click the choose image folder choose image button and it will take you to a folder where you can choose an ISO. That just happens to be I have two thumb drives that are both two gigabytes. I had Linux Lite and it's 2.2, it's too large and I had the Ubuntu Mate which is 2.7 which was too large and I found a very small Linux program that's actually a whole operating system that was 55 0.8 megabytes, so 56 megabytes to have a complete operating system. I thought that was very impressive. So I thought since that's very small, it shouldn't take long to flash two of those. I also downloaded the MDI5 file. You probably don't have to do this, but I went to the website and I grabbed the the ISO and the MDI file that match the ISO. So that way when I chose to check it, it turned green and I'll show you how to use that in just a few moments. Once you click the load button, you select the drives. You can click select all or you can select one or both drives. And if you have multiple drives, you can click the select all to select them all. Then hit the next button, put in your password, and then it will start flashing devices. And when it's completed, it will show you it's completed. As you can see here, I had to reboot my system for them the two drives to show up on my system. So when I can finish, it's probably not going to show up, but it will work. I had to reboot in order to get that to show up. So let's take a look at the Popsicle program. So if I go to Tools, I go to USB Flash, and it will bring up here. I choose my image. I go here. I go to my downloads and choose my ISOs. And I'm going to choose the small one, which is the 55.8 megabytes. Hit open. Now the hash says none. Now if you don't, you don't have to do this, but if you're going to install an operating system, you might want to verify that it's legitimate. No one's altered it. So I choose the MD5, which is also in that ISO folder there too that I downloaded. I hit check. 
it loads the file, I hit check, and it turned green. If it's red, then that means it's been altered. You need to delete it and find a good uh, ISO on the internet on their website or let them know that someone's altered it. You next click the next button. Here you can choose an individual thumb drive or you can click select all. Now if you look here within the file manager I have a verbatim that's two gigabytes and a Kingston that's two gigabytes and those are what I'm going to be using in my example. As you can see here that's the two that's 1.9 gig, 1.9 gig, basically two gigabytes. Hit the next and it will immediately start after I put my password in. So it's going to ask me for my password, put the password in, press the authenticate button, and it's going to start. And it's going to do both of them. It's not going to do one and then wait and do the next one. It's actually burning them, or not burning them, it's flashing them at the same time. And since it's a very small operating system, it didn't take long. So it says flashing. Complete two device successfully. Flash, hit done. When you go to your file manager, you don't see the two thumb drives you have to reboot your system. Now I pulled them out last night, plugged them back in, and they still didn't show up until after I rebooted the system. So once you reboot your system, you will have a two thumb drives that show up with your operating system. Now if you reboot, remember these are operating systems that you're flashing, or in my case, uh, so if you got it set up in your BIOS to boot up, it's not going to boot into your current or your default operating system. It will boot from the flat one of the flash drives, depending upon which one it picks up first. So I just want to warn you on that. So when it's completed, you may want to pull them out before you reboot, so that way it won't boot up into those flash drives. So if you're looking for a program to flash an operating system an ISO or .img file to a thumb drive then I highly recommend you give Popsicle a try. It's a great program. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day.